what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back in the house once again season five episode two let's get it man last episode was really good i liked it very much um <laughs> you know it's one of those things where if i was supposed to choose between carmella and dr melfi who would i choose you know if I had that choice as very convincible MILFs <laughs> in this show, who would I choose? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's a choice for another day. Nevertheless, I'm really enjoying this show. You guys know how much I love The Sopranos. That is not a mystery. Season 5, Episode 2, hopefully they continue with the greatness. Great start to the season in Episode 1 so far. Really enjoyed that episode. Especially Mr. Stalker Tony. <laughs> Stalker Tony has arrived. You know, um, I don't think he's going to continue after this, though. Um, she does have feelings for him, and she, does, she did admit to being attracted to him. So, we'll see. If it continues, are they just going to leave it at that? He shot his shot. I don't think he's coming back. He's done. Um, at most, he'll probably go back to therapy. I don't think it's going to be... It's going to be weird now. Even if he does go back to therapy, it's going to be weird. Because it's going to be like... She's probably always going to be sitting there thinking, is he like waiting for another opportunity you know what i'm saying it's gonna be weird it's gonna be weird so let's jump into the episode man if you guys don't know by the time you're watching this episode all the episodes for season five is already available on early access so hopefully you guys go over there and check it out it's only two dollars a month on so my original channel terabyte reacts which is practically dead that's why you're over here on my backup channel terabyte reacts and gaming watching this show okay so i hopefully you guys will um go over there and check it out every little bit counts thank you guys in advance let's jump into it i'll see you guys for the review you know we're finally going to cut the ribbon uh, for the museum on the 22nd they've been asked me to make a little speech on the uh, challenges of uh, contemporary urban development Something for you? Oh, um, I'll, I'll, I'll have what he's having. Listen, my buddy in the city plan check says they uh, just pulled a permit to turn the old bus station into a mixed use. The thing is, Zellman still hasn't given me a number. Has he said anything to you about another bid? Oh, we don't talk much. <laughs> Get off, relax. Yeah, I just started on the road. Listen, you think maybe you could ask Ron if uh, this falls under the same arrangement? Kind of soggy, you want to know the truth. Tony, this is federal redevelopment. I'll look into it. So a speech, huh? Yeah. At the Museum of Science and Trucking. I just wish my mother could have seen it. Well, whoever she is, I'm sure she's proud. Actually, I... I think I know exactly where she is, and it's pretty fucking hot. You got one of those too, huh? Gentlemen, is everything okay here? Yeah, sure, just talk. Okay then. Have a good night. You know a Joseph Joey Kogo? Not much. I mean, I met him last week. Me and Chrissy were at a dinner with Tony and his friend Valentina. Joey Kogo sent over a bottle of Vove. You want to show her those? Oh my God. Was this man with him? One. You sure? Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. 
She is a full blown snitch, bruh. Jesus, because of what I said? What's he saying? The way I remember, he said, uh, that's why you got the top tier positions. This other inaudible is cracked fucking heads, not legs. And Wait a see. second. This dude, whoa. When? He was, what? Uh, depressed and what? Depressed and ashamed. So what about my Alan Stewart shirt from that meeting? Ralph Cifaretto spilt my coffee and ruined it. I can petty cash it, resubmit, okay? When the hell did this guy become a snitch? This crazy horse pole camera. Oh, wow. Really good. Holy Gaultieri's car again. She, she looks gone. really good with short hair. Chevy. It looks to me like if it is cut, she cut her hair. Pie. He was eating. Tony, this is federal redevelopment. I'm looking for him. Bruh. So we're speaking. The sound quality is yeah. amazing. New hats. Mike's right in the button. Science and trucking. I just switch my mind to see. Give it to Angela and shut the door. Whoever she is. I'm sure she's proud. What happened to the jury tampering investigation on Junior Soprano's trial? Actually, I You guys just dropped the ball on that? Messer owns a huge asset. And what? Three-year-old airline tickets? Some ties to the Bevilacqua murder? Even if Massarone and a thousand other snitches pan out, we've still got to put Tony on trial. That's useless until we find out how they penetrated the anonymous jury system. And what? Jury duty's not tough enough? You know we don't like to dig into some citizen. Tough shit. One of those citizens is a felt. Get on it. Bruh, how many snitches do these dudes have? When he blew the Junior Soprano trial. Of course he'll keep trying. Until he fixes that. Alright. <laughs> Damn. That man is clearly still breathing. Just financially. <laughs> That man is clearly still breathing. <laughs> hey there, handsome. How are you? Good. Lorraine, you're looking good. Yeah, keeping it together with Pilates and gin. So, Paul Lee, how's it hanging? Still got the nice manners, eh? Ah, this is my nephew. Who is... Who is that? Shylock, you got some reputation. Yeah, my mother said that might happen. I'd like to introduce you to the love of my life. This is my partner, Jason Evanina. Honored to meet you. Hey, how are you? What's going on here? What are you talking about? My father. Look at his hands. He looks peaceful. I'm talking about his rosary. The medal? You think I don't know what that is? It's for Opus Day. The fuck is that about? In his later years, your father was very sensitive about what's been going on in the church. Bullshit! Your wife is into Opus Dei. You told Colombino to put it there. You sure about that? Yes, John, I'm sure. Bodies don't even recall. No respect for anything anymore. In New Jersey housewife fundamentalist shit? I doubt it, John. No. You yourself said he was a son. I was being polite. It was his deathbed. I should have written those words down. Maybe you should have, John, because they don't mean anything anymore. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, his mom's sister. Ah, oh, man. There he is. Ah. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen him in anything. In a I don't even know what he's doing these days. The Boardwalk Empire was the last thing I saw him in. You look good. You look good. <laughs> Oh. Say provolone. 
Pro Hello. Right. Shit. Very nice. It's giving me a heart attack. Come on. It's enough, all right? Stop crying. I'm embarrassed enough. Oh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just eat. Yeah? Oh, wait. <laughs> Ah, I got Peppers been marinating for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Tubbs? <laughs> Adi, Yo. what happened here? <laughs> Still a ball breaker, huh? <laughs> the fuck's with him? Ask hey, Kim. <laughs> the beef? Oh, the guy some money, then he tried to kill himself. And guess who got the blame? Oh, oh, my God, we have all missed you so much. I swear, you you look exactly the same. Oh, you're still mm. full of shit, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am not a fan of Carmela's short you know, hair. Like, <laughs> I think the short hair really, like, shows her age. I don't know what it is. But I'm just not a fan of the hair. I think it's the only like. Come, I want you to meet my family. I'm talking about your family. Tony, you remember? It's your family now. Now my husband. And guys, this is your uncle Tony Blundetto. Hey there. How come we never met you before? I've been away on business. I never even heard of you. Stop playing with your eyes. Come on. <laughs> Let that kid show you need to. Welcome home, Uncle Tony. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is Meadow. God, you turn out beautiful, honey. And this strapping young man is Anthony Jr. How's Kelly? Uh, I'll have a regular dinner. I'll buy you Thursday, right? Yes, Daddy. See, with my family now, uh, you know, for separation, you gotta make an appointment. See each other. <laughs> Everything is awkward. I should go see Uncle Zio. Yeah. All right. Show him the phone. Make this fast, because I know you're all hungry. I remember growing up, I uh, was always asking why I just used to have sisters. I said to my mother, I said, can't you save up something and then get me a baby brother? <laughs> and my mother said, what's wrong with your cousin Tony? And she was right, because we were brothers. Except so we had the same name. There was like... 50 Tonys in the family. Some of you remember this. Uh, my, my dad's name was Johnny, and uh, his dad's name was Alfred. And so whenever we were out running around and we'd hear, uh, Tony Uncle Johnny, that was for me. And Tony Uncle Al, that was for him. And it was Tony Uncle Philly. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, he passed away a lot of them. And Uncle Phil. Phil, he uh, he passed away a long time ago too. So, anyway, um, you suck at speeches, Tony. Away, <laughs> it's been hard, but he's back now for good. I wonder if Tony oh, is a snitch as well. Shit, there's so many rats now. It's it's. On, it's to the point the where it's just like you don't really know who to trust because this dude could be a snitch. Oh, Meadow is incredible. It's a fucking Ivy Leaguer. You and Calm hit a home run. Yeah. I'm sure Kelly's all right, huh? whoever she is. Hey, her old man was in prison. We try to do everything we could. I know. I mean, I wasn't around. What can I expect? I mean, if things had gone different way back when, who knows? What do you want from me? Nothing. 
I'm just saying, it's good it wasn't both of us. Ah, well, these things happen, right? You're gonna like this place. This is nice. This is the kind of place we always talked about having. <laughs> so you went on the bus station project? My Sharon's waiting on a number. How's he doing? Good. We had coffee. He used to bore me, Jack. What are you in a bad guy once you get to know him? I was like. Smoking while taking a it shit? Was, uh, very touched by that funeral the other day. Real heart grabber. That fucking little carmine. And after what? Five years in Florida fixing wet t shirt contests. <sighs> I got some ideas, you know. He'll get you on your feet. Plus, of course, you already know what you want to know. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of got an idea. Yeah? Like four years in, I got moved to Springfield. You know, where they got the big prison hospital. It's mostly stab wounds, detox. Anyway, this guy I knew from Elton, he was telling me how I could be an orderly. You know, and how it's like easy time and all. Well, you know, so then you're the guy that hooks everybody up. That's smart. Yeah, but it wasn't business for me. I mean, I really got into this shit. Uh, rehab block, uh, had guys with broken limbs, muscle diseases, and we'd help them back. So, I think this might be a thing I can do. I got my associate's degree already. It took me five years. And now it's only like six months more for my massage license. So you, so you want to run a massage bar? He wants to go legit. No. I'm going to be a licensed massage therapist. <laughs> Look, I've been away from all this a long time. I mean, if I got a shot at staying out and putting shit together, I should take it. Oh. Because I was thinking, you know what? Uh, I got this airbag thing going on. I'm tall, thanks, but I mean, it's a really nice offer, but I, I need regular work until I'm certified. Just regular work. Well, I guess I know this guy looking for a delivery man for his linen fleet. Bobby got gelato? No, 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 the Koreans. Yeah, you know, I don't got my driver's license. So you go to my guy at the DMB. As far as the union shit, I can take care of that. Wow, Tom, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. You know that? Yeah. Regular work. <laughs> yeah, this is more like what women sit around and talk about. I can attest to that. <laughs> lawyer he's a top guy robert greenberg he says that new jersey has this equitable distribution law so apparently 20 years entitles me to at least half his money well it should you make tony a home he raises children does this guy know how to get it well it's mostly cash obviously god all those years and you could get nothing another lawyer dan mindich he says that we should play hardball we'll go after the real asset Marriage is beautiful in the beginning, but two, three years later? You think there'd be some romance, at least. Janice, you're a newlywed. I know. Six months, and Bobby still hasn't found my rosebud. And <laughs> <laughs> they're forgetting that Adriana is in the room. <laughs> so the movie's over, and they all start talking about their marriages and how miserable they are. Bitterness. So besides the movie night, you have kids? No. So did you attend Carmine Lupertaz's funeral? I didn't know him. Movie night was fun, though. Who was there at the uh, Tony Blendetto homecoming? I told you, just family. God, is that all you think about is your fucking work? You don't care how I feel about anything. <laughs> okay. I was married to an agent. What happened? Did he cheat on you? While we were trying to get pregnant, he called.
climbed right over me to become an assistant supervisor in the milking task force. Moved to Los Angeles and jumped a pay grade with that. God, that's terrible. So, where were we? <laughs> that's all you get. What am I doing? I can't talk to you. I can't even talk to Christopher, and he's my soulmate, for God's sake. I can't talk to my friends. I am being like, ripped apart here, just snitching on people. For what? What do I get out of it? Maybe take some comfort in the fact that you're trying to do the right thing by helping your government. No, seriously. For me, it was when I was in college. My sister's boyfriend, Kyle, traded our TV for six handguns. He sold five to a high school kid and used the last one to open a coconut. The ricochet left my sister a paraplegic. I knew I had to do something about guys like him. And nowhere but the FBI is the line clear between the good guys and the bad guys. If you say so, honey. <laughs> Every branch of government is corrupted. No matter how you put it. I mean, these guys have plants in the, in the system. Jesus. Especially the criminals. They bribe these guys all the time. So there's no pure place for you to land and be like, Alright. <laughs> None of your fucking business. Which side of the bed I wake up on? Jesus, it's just an expression. Bullshit. And don't tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. All that Reggie Van Gleese and mm, boy, you fat. Things have changed around here. I'm the boss of this fucking family. Crowding me. You don't make fun of me. Got it? Got it. Knock off the massage shit. It's a place of business, not a Jack Lane. I was so uncalled for, Tony. Jesus. Home. I was hoping you'd be here. I gotta tell you. You shouldn't go out and eat up there in Fairfield no more. What the fuck are you talking about? I went to collect for my cop up there, and he gave me a heads up. His buddy on the force saw some car out by Napoleon's diner a couple of weeks ago. And I remembered how your gumad lives up there. Yeah? I thought maybe they were fags, but he ran the plate. And it bounced back a no hit. Feds. Feds. Cops said they were just sitting there in the rain. They always do that, but I know it wasn't me they tailed that night, because my whole life's in the fucking rear view. Mine too. Absolutely. It's my so wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ. If he flipped, I'd be fucked. We all would. Well, he ain't been to the grand jury, because we would have heard from our girl up there. They could be just following him at this point, see if they could get anything on him. Oh, you, you could just ask him. They, they, they turned a lot fucking tougher guys. Than Jack he was wearing a damn on. hat with a microphone in it. You want me to take care of it? Uh, we don't know shit yet, right? He didn't give me that fucking painting, though. What's that, Tom? Can't a guy uh. be fucking nice anymore? Friendly? So, what do you want to do? I want to be absolutely fucking sure. That's what I want to do. All right, we arrange a meet. I'll feel him out a little bit. <laughs> I gotta do it. I know, <laughs> I know the way he thinks. I know the way he acts. My old man was very good at vibing people out, too. Mustard up to something? I'll pick it up. Hey, Tony, what's up? Let's take a walk. There he is! Huh? <laughs> hey, how you hey, doing? Good, good. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Everything all right? <laughs> Searching for a wire. Hey, wait a second. Before you say anything, have you lost a little weight? You think? Huh? Oh. Listen, I talked to, uh... Our friend, you know the one that celebrates Hanukkah? Uh-huh. It's in the works. Oh, great. It's good news. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 
I've been meaning to ask you. You noticed anything lately? Um, what are we talking about? You weren't followed here, were you? No, I, I, I don't think so. I'm, 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 I'm pretty careful. Maybe you should take that hat yeah, off to see EKG and shit, huh? See <laughs> if the role gain is right. But um I gotta tell you, I, I don't I don't like what I'm hearing. Relax. How about losing your hair over? Okay. Alright. You couldn't tell shit. What the fuck am I, a mind reader? <laughs> so what's the next step here, Tom? Huh. Shit, I look like I lost some weight. Oh. Motherfucker. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, hold on. <laughs> that Korean Kim, something about your cousin. Yeah. It's your fucking little truck. What do you want me to do about it? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Fire him. Go ahead. Put him on the fucking street for all I care. Tony B wants to pick up some scratch. He could do this Mazarone thing. If it goes. The fuck is wrong with you? The man is trying to go straight. Don't you give a fuck about your cousin? I'm sorry, kid, you're right. <laughs> that was a great party the other night. <laughs> Why is everything so awkward already this season? All these conversations are so awkward in this episode. Was that a yes on Mazarone? Tony's got his own process. What's the process here? <laughs> I'll tell you, I don't know how I'd be holding up. It's just... Oh, I guess you all are really important to me. Oh, Carm, you do the same. We love you so much. Janice. Kate, you okay? <laughs> the guilt is killing her. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> I'm, I'm not what you think. I don't know what to do. I need, I, I, I want to tell you all something. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> You can tell us anything. <laughs> oh. She's been drinking like crazy. Oh my god. Yo, I felt that bro. She just felt like a ton of bricks just now. Bruh. And she's like drinking and y'all let her leave in the car driving. Damn, they killed him. And put a rat in his mouth. Talk about my compensation overall. You You're next, my son's MS, bitch. That's 20 a year, man. Right. You said you were going to get us a making ceremony, which you didn't do. And here you were asking for a raise. Can't you talk to the higher-ups? Okay, 
I mean, Vito Spadafora is running Ralph Cifaretto's construction business. Has Chris ever confirmed that? Second generation earbags. <laughs> this girl, she's totally ripping off her employer. Probably over a hundred grand. What do you mean? Tina Francesco's her name. She's a bookkeeper for this furniture wholesaler. So she makes up vendors, but she writes some real checks. Then her father cashes them. Is that like a federal crime? How many checks? I mean, how much? Like I said, probably over a hundred grand. Tina Francesco. The father's name's Victor. It's Brettler and Sons Imports. Just trying to fuck with this girl now because she don't she don't like how because she's jealous. All right, so that was episode three, episode two of season five. My, oh my, you know what I'm saying? Continuing on from episode one, man, kind of established certain things. I think they kind of concentrated on all the people who are snitching right now. The that dude that caught me off guard because I was like, Whoa, wait a minute, did that skip an episode? <laughs> what happened? You know, um, so it's kind of surprising that he is. A snitch. They killed Maserone. That's crazy. Um, things are getting wild in The Soprano. I think this season is probably going to be more dealing with the mob stuff a lot and the FBI. And I think they're going to concentrate on that a lot more. I don't know for sure. Um, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see how things go from here on out. Because... If, if Tony has the smallest inkling of you snitching or being a rat or anything like that, he is taking you out. No matter the, no matter what, no matter what, that's just <laughs> he's just gonna take you out. So, I mean, I didn't do too much in this episode. That's you know kind of out there. Um, Carmine passed away. Um, so you also had the situation where they had the funeral. Of course, Carmine Jr. was kind of upset, you know, at the things that were going on about the funeral or whatever. Um, so I don't know if Johnny is the one that's going to take over the family. I don't know. Or is it Carmine Jr. going to take over the family? Who the hell knows? You know what I mean? So I don't think Carmine Jr. is a part of if he is a part of the mob, he's not really a part of the mob. You know what I'm saying? Like, if uh, unless he's like hand, because he doesn't even live in around the family. I don't think he lives. I think he lives in like Miami or Florida or something, right? I don't know. I might be mistaken. But anyhow, <laughs> but anyhow, um, for the most part, this episode was was really. Um, straightforward it didn't deal with anything um, that was like warranted for me to really like dive deeper into um, I mean other than the fact that they're kind of showing you know how Tony is like isolating himself of course the cousin coming back home and stuff like that wanting to go straight so that's a different dynamic coming to the show of somebody who used to kind of be in the life and now he's not um, I don't I, I don't think it was explained like why or what caused him to go to jail but I'm happy, I'm, I'm happy for him that he wants to go straight though um, so that's good he wants to be a massage therapist and that's cool um, so for the most part um, for this episode they kind of concentrate on who was snitching who not how it's affecting them especially Adriana so she is in a if she's in a pickle she's in a, a, a huge pickle because she doesn't want to be doing this she's being forced at the threat of you know going to jail or being an associate or whatever and that's what they're hanging over her head for her to continue to be a snitch for them and 
you know it, it, it the the thing about it is this right there's so many conversations and stuff that is being had and i was like that that's from last season that dude that had that recording that's from last season when they, i think it was at the beginning of the season when they had that meeting when they didn't have m a lot of money coming in like things were really tight and he sent them out here to earn that's like early maybe like episode one or two of season three so that was really that caught me off guard because I was like this dude is a snitch like never saw that coming so they're getting to people and getting information um and a lot of the guys a lot of the guys from i mean that you know in the history of the italian mob now that i'm kind of like into that space now and listening to you know some of these guys talking about it like on youtube and stuff like that of how it went down and how many of them went to jail and all of this other stuff and how you know the fbi the surveillance technology is getting better and, and you know it is getting and getting better and they don't encourage anybody to be criminals these days because you will get caught that is what they're saying <laughs> it's like you will get caught don't think you're too big to to, to get caught um getting into that kind of life that being a criminal and all that so i really do appreciate them going the distance to show you know what the fbi fbi is doing to get people to turn and all of this other stuff on these um on these people doing these criminal activities now you know do i feel sorry for adriana yes i do because a lot of times people do get caught up in these situations and then the thing about it is this right they're always going to tell you oh they can protect you oh we can protect you and this is not a six nine situation okay because i feel like i feel like at some point six nine is going to get what's coming to him which i think i think somehow some way somebody is going to get to him i don't know if if they're if they're just going to leave him alone but i just feel like one of these days we're going to hear that six nine has been either gunned down or taken out or something like that because he won't stay out of the media and that's one of the things that is just like dude if you're in witness protection you need to stay but he's such a troll he just can't control himself um so when it comes on to if you're going to go that route or if you're forced into that kind of ways to be forced to be a rat right if you're forced in that situation where you witness something that you feel like your family or your well-being is going to be in danger if you say anything right um and you know the authorities they are forcing you you know what i'm saying to do the to do to tell on these people and you know if they get to you it's a wrap right in those situations like I feel bad for those people because as much as you want justice a lot of time is the justice to be dealt is it worth your life you get what I'm saying is it worth your life would you say fuck it whatever happens happens and just start snitching on everybody like would you do that you know what I mean um, it's a question of how far you would go for justice you know what I mean? Some people be like, yeah, I would do it, man. I would snitch on everybody. And push comes to shove, you probably not don't have the balls to do it because your life is on the line. Um, there's a lot of cases where your life is not on the line and you just tell on somebody and nothing happens. You know what I mean? But this is a situation where I do feel for Adriana. Um, man, I mean, I... I mean, I'm going to have to go back and watch that scene when she fell because I swore, bro, the way how they made it sound, the sound effects they used for Adriana falling. I seriously thought she broke something, bro. Like I thought her head hit the floor and it, everything hit like when she felt like she <laughs> like that's how it, it sounded like, like, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like somebody falls like that on asphalt for that matter like how does she get out of that literally i think she said she was bleeding or she probably fell on her arm or or something like you know when you fall like i don't know how to describe it <laughs> i really don't know how to describe like 
when you fall and you're like your whole body hits the floor like you can't control how you're falling you're not taking your time to fall you know what i'm saying like you just fall and it's just out of your control your your body hits the ground your head might have hit the ground too like just uncontrollable it's like falling off of like a like a like a like a bicycle or or something like that right like i've fallen off a bicycle like probably like about two or three times in my entire life and it's not it, it bruh it is painful and she just got up and went into the car like, <laughs> like she didn't just fall i mean she didn't fall that far like off of a bike but she tripped she basically missed didn't see the, the edge of the curb and basically probably stepped wrong and tripped but the way how it sounded when she hit i thought she broke something but apparently she's okay so <laughs> um shout out to Adria. <laughs> she took that like a champ anyways i'll see you guys for the next one don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment catch you guys for episode three man